Well, there we have Chinese Taipei. Lane four, Portugal alongside them. Botswana in six. And then Great Britain in lane seven. Zansen Plummer taking the first leg, handing over to Oliver Bromby. And Gorman and Matthew legs three and four. Fingers crossed for them. The Irish in uh, this first heat as well in lane eight. And then Italy on the uh, outside. USA again, the defending champions. They don't go until heat three. Japan, Jamaica, silver and uh, bronze last time round. Jamaica in heat two and Japan in heat three along with the Americans. One or two stiff words from the coaches, I suspect, after the mistakes we saw in the women's four by one. It's not an exact science. And always the likelihood that when it comes to world championships, you run just that little bit quicker than you do when you're training. And therefore, the distances change. So Chinese Taipei. Ye Shupo taking the baton on the first bend. Yang Lu Cheng, the men he'll hand over to. Then we've got Frederico Cavello for Portugal on leg one. Rafael Jorge waiting to do the back straight. Botswana represented by Mompoloki Poane. Outside him, Zanson Plummer of Great Britain. Looks confident. Oliver Bromby, as I mentioned, ready to go. Ian Doherty, Kevin Green, and then Sean Lawler, Joseph, and Jawumi, the Irish quartet. And Italy with Artuso. For Nasari, Frederiki, and Tortu. Well, I suspect they'll be well aware of what happened over the last 15 minutes. And there might be one or two nerves that wouldn't otherwise have been present. But there might also be that little bit more focus that is required. So, they're on the marks for the first of the men's 4x1 heats. Here at the World Under-20 Championships. No mistake on the start, just uh, a reminder. Chinese Taipei on the inside lane four, Portugal five, Botswana six, seven is Great Britain going through. Uh, that's uh, an acceptable handover as Oliver Bromby comes down the back straight. Ryan Gorman waiting to take the second bend. And that's a good exchange as well from Great Britain yet to close down on the Italians. The Irish have uh, lost some speed on those first two exchanges. Great Britain on the final exchange. Not the best, but it was safe. Gerald Matthew now blasting down the home straight uh, he played it conservatively and it's paid off no mistake from the British quartet in the men's four by one that will be a confidence booster for them well they're safely into the final although I say that with a degree of caution because we said that before this afternoon and found that athletes and teams have been disqualified but I must say I like the look of that sprinter there Gerald Matthew he really does have a bit of spring in his toe. The baton changes by Britain. They weren't entirely perfect. There's a bit of a fumble of the baton here by Oliver Bromby. Look at it after even when he gets it. Starts playing about with it there. You don't want to do that. Easy to drop it. So too the second change from Bromby to Gorman. Gorman, I think, went off a bit too soon. Now it's back with the handle. It's a bit too long a wait, but they get hold of it. 
And at this point, well, the team there in lane four, Chinese Taipei, were flying. But let's look now at Matthew. Again, long, long wait for the bat and too long, in all honesty. It was made to look a better change than it was by the uh, team alongside them, the Botswanas, who did make a shocking mess of that bat and change. Look at that, almost stopping, and so too the Portuguese. But Matthew pumping his knees. Big, long striding athlete. One to keep an eye out for, I would suggest. Great Britain and Italy, the automatic qualifiers, should uh, the results stand? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit nervous You're being very about, cautious, well, uh, it, it, I, I mean, for good reason. Easy to be presumptuous in this game. <laughs> the Irish uh, look good for the first 250 metres. So that's uh, confirmation for now. 39.91, the winning time in that first heat from Great Britain. Italy second, 40.13. And Chinese Taipei, we'll have to wait and see. So two more of these heats to come. We'll also catch up with events in that high jump final as we look here at the uh, Irish quartet. Decent gathering. Plenty of uh, friends and family along to see uh, the youngsters have, well, for many of them, will be their first taste of international competition. And following last...